It's so it's an ongoing thing with him. Yeah. No, no matter Thank what you, I do, he, no matter where I go in my life, he just seems to have to always pick on me. I've had enough. Thank you, Angela. You're in the waffle. Oh, Thank you, these are concerns that you can raise as well, mate. With who? Who am I? Who? No one's around me to, yeah. to talk about nothing. Thank you, Esme. No, because he was a, you know that TikTok thing that we addressed with you? What does he want? What does he want? No, he's not. He doesn't get to make that decision. I haven't seen her for over a week, right? This must be so distressing for my daughter. One minute she's coming to see me, next minute she's not. I will take care of my child so well. She has everything. I spent £400 on her on her birthday. She was with family. She had everything. She went bowling. She... And she still accepted a battle while having this important phone call. Don't be hasty because Didi is single. She's not going to he abuses me. The man just abuses me. I think you need to say that to social workers. Like when he's making calls to social workers, making all these accusations about you. At the same time, you need to ring and say that he's abused and we've got this child. And it is impacting on Alia. Thank you, Evan. You need to share your views as well and what's happening with you. So you're well within your right to do the same. So what, report him to social care now? So apparently my sister's just texted me saying, I've told him you were picking her up from school tomorrow. He just put the phone down and said, okay, bye. But I don't think he's going to send her to school. Listen, I'm telling you now, I'm going to be at that school tomorrow picking up my kid. I love her to bits. She's, I'm sick of him abusing me and my daughter. He's a, I think, he's a, I think, I think that then you need to, when, when this contact stopped, what were you doing about it then? I didn't know I wasn't having it. He just rang today and said that social workers have bypassed the country. Did you hear it all last week then? No. He said it stopped for a week and a half. No, we didn't. I saw her last week and I had her for five days. It's restarted, Brooke. Why are you lying, love? It's four minutes 28 in a 14 minute video, so unless it restarted behind me back, then you're making assumptions that are false. You falsehoods, well, um, spreader. How dare you? It's okay. No. I have my, I have it all the time. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Um, I'm going on a date in in a, in soon, and obviously it's on TikTok that I'm going on a date, and that's probably, that's what it is. He can't. He just he just will not have me live my life. The man will just not have me live my life at all. Yeah, I mean, we 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 need to get anywhere, and then Didi's gonna go back now and report it to her manager. Then she's I'm, I'm gonna come. I'm, I, I, he knows. He knows very well. I'm gonna be at school tomorrow. Pick it up earlier, and um, I will see. I, I will see you at three o'clock at the uh, at the um, at the at the main entrance. Fifteen minutes before. And that's all. And if and if anything happens, you guys can report it through to social. Cause I've had enough of him. I do nothing to him. I don't disturb him. I don't disturb his life. I don't disturb his personal relationships. Thank you, Buffy. You're in the waffle. Thank you so much. It's a very entertaining live. Oh yes, we love all Canadian Angie's lives. 
and she's been creating all the problems and um now we've got clips of the show shortly maliciously oh this is muted i don't want to say this i have been taking drugs <laughs> oh, babes, you voluntarily changed your name to Alpha Bar. You are a full grown adult who regularly paints their face green and you sing the same song over and over again until about five o'clock in the morning. Babes, I assure you, none of us thought you were sober. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> Goalless Mystic Meg, but we had this one down. <laughs> Chelsea Lee asks, Oh, personal hygiene tips from Chelsea? Where's my notebook? Nice. I'm not changing my clothes. Don't change your clothes. Oh, these clothes have been on for a week. They're staying on. I'm testing. The fabric doesn't smell. Mm. Stop taking them. Doesn't even smell. It doesn't smell. I mean, it's definitely coming up to fucking taking it off, but... I might as well keep it on. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I've had it on all week. Ow. Oh, I could. this fucking... No wonder she got mistaken for Elphaba's mum. Thank you, Annie. You are in my waffle, babes. And it's a double waffle tonight, everyone. So last night's prizes and tonight's prizes, there's going to be two winners drawn at 10 o'clock. You just get Thank the tracks you, you wear it all week. You know, it's fine. Just wash your panani and your bundle, and that's all you need to do. Just spray deodorant onto your armpits. Yeah, I'm the same. Press PJs, fresh sets of clothes every day. Thank you, Maxie. You're in the waffle, babe. Uh. Elphaba talks how much he's changed. Liar. <laughs> No, I couldn't do it, Angie. <clears throat> Sorry. How's that? How do I look? Awful. Very demure. Shay, very demure, very demure much. My foot. Very thoughtful. Hello. What's your name? Hi, Gracie. How are you? What am I doing tonight? Not sure. Um, I'll probably just be live streaming. Yeah, if you wanna, we could do some singing, some live streaming today. Defo, yeah. But I might wanna learn some new songs. We should do that, shouldn't we? Learn some new songs, go, go different songs. Why does he act like it's like, we should do this and we should do that and we should do this? No. Maybe you should get in the bath. Thank you, FYP recap, you're in the waffle, babe. I do sing a lot of Divine Gravity, don't I? I wanna learn a new song. What I don't understand is he claims to have all these issues with personal hygiene and like the motivation to do this, that and the other for personal hygiene reasons, but he'll do a fresh face of makeup every day. I could, just couldn't do that. I couldn't have dirty skin, dirty hair and do a full face of makeup every day and then wipe it off with spit and carry on the next day. It's just crazy. A new song. It's called Into the Storm. Into the Storm. Hope Whoa! You Ryle, thank you so much for the fireworks. Well, you get a follow from me, darling. Thank you. Thank you, darling. That's so lovely. You're a queen. You don't have any money to gift. That's okay. Don't feel any pressure, honestly. Like, if you can't gift, you can like the video. And my recent video. What about that? I've got loads of Chelsea's today. Fucking bed. I've paid two and a half grand. I'm going to be left without a bed. I don't know. They were supposed to come yesterday. Are you still with Jack? Well, last time I checked, Glenn, yeah? What the hell? What's the, those type of questions, love? I didn't even check my email. We've got a house together. Like, it's just weird at this point to keep, like, saying that. Like, we're six months into our relationship. Yes. I've been sleeping all day. I can't smoke this green. It's knocking me out. And it's the best green I've not being on in ages. Oh, well, I block you, so then you can't come on for even longer. Goodbye. I've had for ages, and I probably won't be able to get any muff nothing like this again. This is a one-off. 
What about that? The bed, two and a half grand. I wouldn't pay that for a single bed. I've got a super king size and it didn't cost any money either. Is he fighting with Chelsea there? Because he said that I might get sensitive too. I used to hate those days of teeth yeah, fighting. Not all the teeth fighting. I used to hate those days. No, like, no. He said I just wear these for like, um, overnight or up to four hours. Chat telling us to to bath? No, I won't have a bath. I'll not bath for a week. What are you going to do? But why? <laughs> and I don't smell because I wash my pan on it. So it's alright. i seen a video earlier on where she said it was her that bought the 10 colouring books to give out as prizes but the publishers should have sent her 10 for free and I don't know why she was so put out about it. She was like, nobody sent me anything for free, I paid for it myself and it's like, but why are they your books? Like, surely the publishers should have sent you some for giveaways and that was the point I was making yesterday. Is that why would you have to buy your own book? Like, you should have just got them to send you however many out for promotion. You know, because obviously they're getting paid, whoever's, like, producing these and fulfilling the orders. Thank you, James, you're in the waffle, thank you. My armpits don't smell. They don't smell. Only a little bit. But not smell. On the verge. <laughs> On the verge. <laughs> Watch. Is that man? On TikTok, yo. That is so weird. Court assassin argues with Tory. Who's Tory? At least I've got a fucking husband. Thank you, oh no, you. don't. Yeah, yeah, there you no, go. That, there you fair. go. There, that's how nasty they And look, ev no, I'm going to tell everybody now, right? These all will follow me around for the rest of the day on the app. Let me tell you. They're sad. It's sad. It's honestly weird. Of course. I was she like that when you say that? No, Chelsea's not the type of person to like, obviously, like, I, I, I do. I always have done, you know what I mean? Like, I'll have a, if there's a bath, I'll get a bath. If a shower, I'll get a shower. Um, so like I, when I stay at Chelsea, like I'll get a bath every day type of thing, but some people, I don't know, it's, I don't know, I, I just have to do it because I, I like don't feel clean otherwise. Assassin, you've just come in and full of Tory, so what does that well, look what like? What she was talking about me! This is boring. I want pizza! I want chips in it as well. I love pizza with chips, it tastes great, but... Yeah. Pizza. Thank you, Ninja. I'm sure he's might well get one free. So I might as well get a large, get two large pizzas. Are you racing, girl? No, I'll get two large pizzas and I'll eat both of them. I want pizza! Me being a Scorpio, I am... Um... I sent... That's clever. This is just clips. They've got a paper clip as the light on the... I sent my address but it was a fake address to the evil avocado account off um vic d's burner that he watches this on and um it never got leaked and then my so i was like i was like okay they either like me or they know it's the wrong address you know then then the numbers got leaked on twitter and my number was my number on there no but it was it's the no trains tonight so um we're doing it for corals now um i don't know why i keep having to explain myself over and over again so i explained yesterday my dad called me and said he noticed some people in the chat saying they'd love to participate in the waffles but the train was too expensive every day so my dad suggested that i should do it for the coral 
and I tested the theory last night and I did 110,000 diamonds or whatever it was. So it works out the same as if I did it as a train, but I get more entries and uh, more people get to get involved. So that's why it's the coral. But we do still do our train sound effect, but we've got a waffle on love. Thank you, Dan. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Dan, hello, my love. I miss you. Where have you been? Thank you, Dan. Make sure to pin Dan and everyone make sure to follow Dan. And you're in my waffle, Dan, love. Thank you, Dan. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Dan, you are in it three or more times now. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Lainey, thank you so much. You're in the waffle. Dan, where have you been, love? I've known Dan since probably day dot on this app, love, when the app was all competitive. Hello, Dan. Everyone I disliked. Yeah, it was everyone I disliked. Yeah, anyone who sent the corals last night, you're in tonight's one too. Hiding. Why do you always hide, Dan, love? I'm always on a different account, so I end up losing track of you in the end, but I've got you on this account now. So you had your mama Cash, you had your Alex, like everyone. He, um, or people that I've associated myself Thank with. Who, who was it? Like the Randy Roofer was so random. Right, and I've been... The Randy Roofer was me, though. I gave the number of Randy Roofer to people avocado because, remember, he was horrible to me over that um, Big big Brother TikTok thing, so it was me. I, I gave Evil Avocado um, Randy Roofer's number. I'm quite vocal about him, and he, that was so random of the Randy Roofers to get put out, because everyone knows okay. his name. But I was looking at the list of people that were on it, and I was like, this is... But the list is everyone I fell out with, if you, if you notice. Like, the, the list was everyone... I gave everyone's numbers. It was me who did it. Got to be a setup for people, because obviously people started running it. It was me, do you remember? And I was like, it ain't making sense, man. I was like, why? Like, you know? It's someone in EQ's... Can I don't know. Anyway, there was a Twitter number. There was numbers on Twitter, right? And I was in my detective mode. Now, I went through, called them all on private number to see if they'd ring, to see if they were real. And every single one rung bar one and one number. Yeah, but whoever's number was leaked, they probably put it on um, do not disturb to anyone who's not on your friend list. So that's probably why it went to voicemail. Why is that question all this when it was me who gave all those people's numbers out? Miss J, Miss Red, um, all the people who smithed me, you know what I mean? Um, Randy Roofer, you know, think about it. Every single one's name on there, the phone numbers, was people who I'd had murder with or a beef with, you know what I mean? And it was dead. It was a dead number. Yeah. Oh, this was a while ago. Not, not this clip, I mean, like, the... Was it another occasion? It was Rebecca Vardy's account. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's just my theory. I'm not saying it's concrete evidence, you know. Because what made my ears prick up was when how these people were so adamant it was me and coming up with screen recordings and going, see, this is what happens when you jump profiles. And I was like, it, it really isn't me. It wasn't. So, so if you want a... CLA offers books selling £50, pounds. someone says expensive. Find book from Chelsea. She said it again today, everybody. Can I just point your attention out to the colouring book? Okay. So, this is Chelsea's colouring book. On the very first page is Chelsea Lee Art's signature. Here, look. Chelsea Lee Art, it's signed. So, I don't get this whole, I'm going to sign the books for you, when on the first page, there's a signature, Chelsea Lee Art. You know what I mean? So I don't get the whole, I'm going to sign it. It's got a message of love to people as well. It says, hi there. I'm so excited that you've picked up my coloring book. It's not, it's not just a collection of drawings. It's a piece of my heart. Every line and detail in these designs comes from a personal place created during moments when I needed to feel calm, grounded and connected. I want you to experience that same feeling. And then that's Chelsea's actual signature, which has been then scanned onto the page. So every colouring book has this signature in. So I don't understand about the sign thing because that is Chelsea's signature. It's been laser scanned on, you know what I mean? It's like Creating Creations asked me to go onto a thing you signed something sent out so she can send cards out with my signature on, you know, with the purchases and that, but I didn't get around to doing it. So yeah, 
It's already got the signature. I'll see the R, it'll be 50 quid. And you just have to... But even a personalised message, she doesn't know you. She's never going to know you. Even she, yeah, you'll get the £100, and then it'll be to such a person. Thank you very much, Chelsea Art, and that'll be the end of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, so it doesn't really make sense. She should, like, obviously do giveaways and that, and waffles or whatever for her, for her books, but the whole signature thing, it's it's a bit outdated. I have to pay through the, um, the link in my bio... That's a lot, yeah. Oh, it's a great colouring book, though. It's amazing, but it is already signed. If people didn't know before, you before you obviously pay a hundred pound. Well, I'm not going to. Because why would you pay a hundred pound for a colouring book that's thirty pounds on, on Amazon? Why would you give yourself that much inflation when her own signature has been laser scanned onto the first page of the book? Thank you, Beck. You're in the waffle. Get any cheaper? Not that. I've got to send them out. You're not understanding what I'm saying, though, Leslie. They all do it hand-signed copies. This is hand-signed. They're all hand-signed. So, Chelsea Liart did a signature, and then it was scanned onto the page. So, that is her writing. She wrote. You know what I mean? So, you're not really getting the logic. It doesn't matter if it's printed. It's still her signature. It's not printed. It's her writing. It's not a fake signature. Look, Chelsea Liart, see? Look at the way it's diagonal, like she signed the books and had them laser qualities up, obviously, onto the page. So, by all stretch of anyone's imagination, that is her handwritten signature. So, you just have to get blocked if you're trying to, if you're trying to argue about the points. You're blocked. The point of the matter is, the colour of book is £30 on Amazon. It's got Chelsea's actual signature lasered onto the page, and if she says it's not her signature, then we've all been scammed, love. But by all all accounts, that's Chelsea's signature, so it already exists in the book, you know what I mean? So we can't disagree with you. It's because you're disagreeing um, without actually catching on to the point, you know what I mean? You're trying to change what I'm saying. So I'm saying to you, his signature exists in this book. Doesn't matter whether it's printed, whether it's been hand-signed, she still hand-signed it for it to be scanned onto this page, and that's my point. But you're trying to twist it and say, handwritten, but nobody cares. The point of the matter wasn't handwritten, wasn't any. Her hand has written that signature, whether it was two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So the reason you get blocked is because you're trying to change what I'm saying, because you're thick and I'm not. So like when I'm being specific about the point, is that Chelsea's saying it's £100 to get a signed colouring book. On the first page is Chelsea's signature, whether it was written last week, two weeks ago, or ten weeks ago, it exists inside this book. So, you know, it's her work, it's everything that she's put into it. So it comes with her signature in. Nobody cares whether it's it's laser scanned or printed or that. It's still been her hand that assigned that for it to be put into there. It wasn't like a, a stock image. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't see the point. And if anybody... I love Chelsea, but... You know what I'm like when it comes to things like this. Why pay £100 when you can pay £30 for the same book, you know what I mean? Really good. Zach used his own pens, not a problem. But see, I want to use Chelsea's pens. It doesn't matter that there's other pens and all that. The whole point of this colouring book is to use Chelsea's stuff on the page. So I'm saving my colouring book until um, Chelsea releases the pens. Yeah, I can't wait. People don't seem to get the point. Emma, thank you so much, Emma. You are in my waffle as well, Emma. It, uh, they'll work out how many times. Thank you so much, Emma. Get pinned and Becky, you're in the waffle too. So people never seem to get the point. What, what annoys me in life is that people don't get the point. They Like you've just seen the way they tried to twist what I was actually saying. And the point I was making is that in some form, whether it be scanned in, whether it be whatever, her actual signature is in this book and if it's not then the audience have been misled because why would you put somebody's signature in if you're not Chelsea Liart so they tried to change things and like this Zach used his own pens and had no problem yeah that's all well and good Chelsea's not said the words you can't use any other pens you must use my pens this colouring book will not look good unless you do it with my pens it's like these clip channels they try and manipulate like well you can't manipulate me 
Yes, Zack used his own pens, no problems, but there's no rule or law against it, you know what I mean? No rule. Charlotte, you have to be black, love, stop arguing back. I've told you this is an FYP show with my opinions on the situation, and my opinion is Chelsea's never said it's against the law and the book won't work and it, it'll run and this, that, and the other, unless you use my pens. So, of course, Zach had no problem because you can colour a colour on the book in any pens, but for nostalgia reasons, we want bloody Chelsea's pens, well, me in particular, to go in Chelsea's book. Listen, I'm feeling all right now. I'm waking up a bit. I need a pizza. Has your book arrived? They're fabulous. Don't use them. Don't use them until you get the Chelsea Liot paint pens because not all the pens going to be as good enough. These ones are going to be great. And yet again, there'll be people who go, ah, I told you, but I didn't say those words. My words are, she has not said you cannot or it'll be the worst of the world. I could go and get a Sharpie now out of my kitchen cupboard and colour this in, and it wouldn't make a world of difference. But of course, the illustrator of the colouring book wants you to use her equipment inside it. So it's not against the law. Of course, the pens will work with other pens. And the creator of this but that this post is weird, honestly. Someone's ordered me a pizza. And you can tell I never watch the clips first, so you get my authentic opinion on the situation. And you don't get blocked, by the way, if you have your say. When you're telling me I'm in the wrong, when I know what words I'm using and what words I'm choosing. But because you're thick and I'm, I'm clever and my brain fires quicker than yours, you can't keep up some of yours and you'll go, no. But I listened to the actual words that were said. The actual words, not around the houses, you know. It's just crazy. Oh. But I love my actual people, love who support me every day. They're the only ones that really do matter. Can you imagine all the messages? I've not even and opened yes, them. There's a lot of Chelsea tonight before anyone says, No, the Chelsea Lee Archer. Well, why don't you get on the FYP then and give us a change? But I'm just saying on TikTok, on, you know, all the trolling and the stuff they've said or done. <laughs> They're just a fucking nightmare. Honestly, they do deserve to get arrested, though. I mean, if the police could find out who's actually been making them malicious calls to the police station, not only calling the police and making the police have to come out about 100 times just this year, imagine how much money that's cost, and I'm paying tax. You know, that's costing me money. <laughs> but yeah, fire engines and um, ambulances and all these things. Earth's child, you seem to have this big grievance against Matt John. Like, I'd just let it drop. It's a stranger on the internet. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like, I had an interaction with him the other day because he actually wrote something in my chat that I disagreed with. And that's where it ends. We don't hammer the same person every day or bring them up just because we had something bad to say about them the other day. So, you, you, you Matt John hate party, like, please take it somewhere else because, like, it's boring me. Every time I look, Matt John's blocking a gift. Is Matt John's doing this? I don't really give a stuff things that they've done is just absolutely disgusting they actually should feel ashamed because someone that really needs an ambulance could actually die because they've been stupid enough because of tiktok to phone for what like literally what do you get out of it i just don't understand these people are weirdos man thank you just need to be honest in tonight's waffle oh my god one two three four times Shan. thank you so much you're in the waffle babes the gods you know the police should lock away the fucking key throw away the key sweetheart the police are the ones Thank that need to arrest Jan. these people actually just so i got blocked today honestly it's child enjoy my life i i do you know when it's something a nobody i'd understand if you were talking about like a somebody on the app canadian angie you know what i mean like whoever else but like the, matt john's a nobody like he never puts the camera on himself he just films the floor chatting a load of shit all day so it's not my bag you know what i mean like i deal with like big fish and i dealt with him in my chat on a one-to-one -one interaction it wasn't like a video or that you know what i mean imagine the amount of police time the police should oh, boycott the fuck out of them darling you. honest to god darling you should be locked up for at least a week in there get the police to boycott you you won't do it again sweetheart alphabet if i'm too single and i'll just have a conversation with myself sometimes i just zone out i'm just like somewhere Rainbow. <clears throat> that was a bit deep, Jesus Christ. Raised my voice really high as well. I wonder why he thinks like this is like normality or normal behavior. 
I can also go really like, like this and it. I got set really high as well. It's really annoying. Because I'm like, hi. And then it's like. Yo. Hi. Yo. Why are you making out like that's like your original voice or something? Like you've always been onion. You know what I mean? You sound how you talk normally. And you're putting on a deep voice as if you ever spoke like a road man or any of those things. Like it's embarrassing. Hi. <coughs> Hi, how are you? Yo, we work for a minute. Awesome. Like funny. you ever walked around bloody Barnstable or whatever it is that you're from saying those things? You absolutely oh, Thank you. <coughs> So, like, if I'm single, if I'm too single, I have a conversation with myself. Um, You're eternally like, single? So it's quite, it's quite what, what man, woman, beasts would go near that, honestly? Um. They say there's someone for everyone, but in this one's case, anybody would be mad. What would you even get out of it? Cheesy wedge? No thanks. Alright, she's like my fucking soul. See how they say she shows everyone how good she is at colouring in? Social worker, sweetheart. Like, you know, what is it we've got to do today? <laughs> so, like, fucking you know, hell, we've got so much to do. I've seen people uh, who've done a bit of Chelsea's colouring book, and um, what you're forgetting is what. Sorry, I'm off off the camera. What you're forgetting is how, you, Chelsea always outlines with black. So, like, she'll colour the image and then she'll make it bolder by outlining the actual lines in a black. So, there's a little tip for you that I've picked up on the... F so if you want to make your colouring book look even better, get your black pen and go over the lines. So oh, yeah. We've got a video of Chelsea colouring. Amazing. Now, so. so I need to sell loads of books, man, because... She's aged a lot. No, I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know why. She's entered this rough era. I, I, don't, I don't understand it, to be honest. She's normally like... yeah. She normally like she is quite immaculate, you know what I mean? She does wear the same clothes for like two days, maybe sometimes three. But like this has gone on for a long time now. I always think it's after she's met up with Modine. I think when she's with when she's not with Modine, she gets on a nice level and then she'll meet up with Modine and then it's like something affects her in that situation. I mean a hundred bucks, that's not good enough. Two hundred bucks, that's not good enough, man. I need to have sold yeah, a thousand bucks. But I think I did. I'm sure I did. The only problem with Chelsea is she, she wants everything now, now, you know what I mean? But like, the more people see over the next few days, the more creators are saying, oh, just got me colouring book, the more people are seeing it, the more people are going to buy it. You know, sometimes it's good to have a little bit of patience and, you know, just let it play out and, you know. If anything, she should be saying, I've sold a thousand books already, everyone. And then people are like, oh, a thousand. I want one then as well. Marketing, you know what I mean? Thank you, Nanny Pepper. Marketing. Even if you've not sold any, you always say, oh, I've sold loads. Sold loads of these. Thank you, Nanny Pepper. in the waffle, love. That's what you do. You don't, like, say, oh, well, I've not, not sold, like, very many. or already sold a hundred. You say, oh, I've sold a, nearly a thousand now already. And then people will be like, oh. Did... You got to remember she has got bipolar as well, so she she does have mental health. Hello, Gracie Love. She does have mental health as well. Oh, I was in your live earlier on, Gracie. I was saying, thank God, love. Thank God you're out of that silly competition. You need to get a better work-life balance. I'm living and sleeping on the. F I knew you wouldn't like doing that though. I knew it. I knew you'd not do it because it's thirty days as well. It's like it's like you'd have to revert your life back to the way. Thank you, Gracie. It was, and you've got happiness in your life now. Thank you, Gracie. You're in my waffle, my love. You've got happiness and love and all your home now and everything, you know what I mean? So, like, you don't need to sit there 12 hours a day, you know, doing this thing like you say, you know what I mean? It only takes one shop video, you know, and so I'm I'm made up that, you, um, that you're not doing that now. <laughs> Floor, darling, on a mattress. My house is upside down. What do you expect, darling? No, I mean, I don't even have a proper bed, man. Like, I've been waiting for my bed. Oh, I need to listen to your other voice message from the other day because I was drunk when I replied, to, when I messaged you about 
that fella who was on the battle with, so I didn't actually listen to the other voice messages. It's supposed to come yesterday. I've got my colouring book and I've been doing my colouring and showing everyone how great I am at colouring in and how great you'll be <coughs> with a Chelsea VR colouring book. What I don't get about the audience is like, you all got to know and love or not like her through who she is as a person, but everybody is always so surprised at how she is and behaves, but she got known for that behaviour in the first place, so it's like one of them, people love to bring people up and say they're the best thing thin sliced bread, oh she's a lunatic, look she's funny, roots, la la la, and then like they'll, they'll hate her for being the person that they built her up in the first place, they built her up being that person, and now it's telling her, it's all wrong to be like that way, but everyone was telling her two, three years ago that that was the way to be, that's so funny, this, that and the other. But now it's condemn, condemn, but you built her up into this character. <sighs> it is a one off. Point, is that all right? Oh, look at you, I don't know what that is. Sometimes our favorite things, not knowing. <sighs> I've got loads of clips, so I'm just trying to... Like this... So, Nicole's posted this, and this is not against Nicole herself. This is just like in general. The side of TikTok Live, you probably don't see. Well, we don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see do good and la 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 plap. So we want drama and that. We're in the UK, you know what I mean? So thank you ever much, Evita. Thank you, babes. So we know that side of TikTok exists, but we don't watch it because it doesn't stimulate us or entertain us. So you're not pointing out anything about, oh, look at this, everyone. This is the good side of TikTok. No one actually cares, honestly. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you, my love. Thursday. Oh no. Night Peter with El Faba. Grace and girl, choo choo, bang bang bang, you're in the waffle, my love. Thank you so much. And Canadian Angie again, thank you so much for me, Lion. Has anyone heard about that storm that's meant to be coming this weekend? Um, 70 mile an hour wind, um, sn uh, snow and rain. Me and Jack literally went out today, bought everything we need for over the weekend and everything. And uh, we're hibernating. Storm bit, yeah, we're hibernating now, love. The gift for the waffle is a coral so that more people can enter. Thank you so much, everyone, Rita, because not everyone's got train money, Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. You're in my waffle again. Thank you, beautiful Dan. Oh, my God. Thank you, Dan. Oh. Elva overcomes yet another tragedy and says they're leaving the UK. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. Thank you, Sarah. Because this base looks too good, like... This base. Oh, he we can make it a beauty spot. Oh my god, this creature from the Black Lagoon. That was incredible what I just did there. I did it. I am so Im impressed with myself right now how I did that. Can't lie. Mascara spots are very easy to clean up if you've got a uh, cotton bud. So when it drops on your skin, don't rub it. It sits on the top of your makeup. So if you just get the cotton bud and then twirl it round like that above the skin, it'll lift it off. So if you didn't know, love, then you can have a little tip from your evil queen there, love. I might get a passport because I want to be. I want to leave the fucking UK. I want to go on holiday. I want. I want to have a pina colada and sit in the sun in the Bahamas and and ha and hug a kangaroo. You can't even walk to the bathroom to go to the toilet. You go in a bottle, so I doubt you go into the Bahamas anytime soon. It is going to shit, and I think most British people can agree that they want to get out of this fucking country. 
This is my show. Oh my god, this one again. It ain't easy growing up in World War Three, never knowing what love could be, you'll see. Struggling like it has stopped my family. Can we walk it out? Can we be a family? Promise I'll be better. Throw it in the waffle, love, and make sure to get pin. Walk it out. Can we be a family? Promise I'll be better. Please don't leave. I ran away today, you ran from the north, ran away Back to that place, I don't feel no choice, no way It ain't easy, growing up in World War Three, Never knowing what love could be, you'll see Can we walk it out? Can we be a family? Promise I'll be better Bye, I do the need <laughs> This person's younger than me, do you know she was born in 1992, everybody, this person on the screen. I was born in 1987, 87, she was born in 1992, can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Peace don't leave. In our family portrait, we look pretty happy. Let's play pretend and act like it comes naturally I don't want to have to split my holidays I don't want to wear dresses I don't want a stepbrother anyways no. We look pretty Nicola, thank you, you're in the waffle Thank you, babe but I'll come off this app because that's what everyone wants thank anyway you, Imagine being the best on the app and they all want to get rid of you So they all fucking troll you Make you lose your fucking mind End up in a mental hospital Fuck me, sweetheart Like, oh, real stop This, this is, is how I express myself Oh, this this Tyrone's baby mum Oh my god, she's the most boring person I've ever come across in my life She was so triggered last night didn't really want to scroll past the nerd, so she got really upset over what I'd said in my life and got really affected. But she, I swear, everyone, do you know when you make a point? Thank you, Nana Bear, and you move on. She said the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. In the end, I just turned it off because she was just repeating herself. Oh, it was relentless. She was triggered. Evil Queen seems to upset the woman who claims to have Tyrone's son. Ha, ha, ha. If I get, yeah, I start speaking faster. I may come, I come across abrupt. Like this is how I've been brought up with my family. We say things in the wrong way, and we come across in the wrong way to some people. Not everybody knows how to take us, but that's not my problem. Like if you want to take me in a, in a, the, the wrong way or how you perceive me, that's not my problem. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna. <sighs> You're sweating a bit loud. No, I'm breathing a bit heavy. Do you know what I mean? I'm breathing a bit heavy. Thank you, Ki, 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 You're self-projecting. Like yeah, like all these haters in here. Do you know what I mean? You just don't like the truth. You don't like realness. You just, you just like fake shit. Carry on liking your fake shit. I appreciate all the likes. Thank you. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, I didn't even plan to come on here tonight. And then I see Evil Queen Chesney start doing some shit about me. She don't. It made me laugh as well because like, does she think that in all the lifetime that I've had at 37 that we haven't heard that, that lame clap back over and over and over again like what's the quickest quip that you can think of chelsea chesney like how many times do you think we've heard that over the years love you're not the first and you won't be the last you you come back so clapped you like had nothing to offer back it was really embarrassing to not even know about so i just i had to hit over the little post like and we had the regular voldemort and this that and the other oh Oh, now eat your words, bitch. New Ben's original lunch bowl. Tasty goodness. What's going on, girl? So basically, no, for real, I saw the live. Yeah, like, well, how was she speaking about it? Didn't she speak about fat girls? Like, and then she's all trying to apologise, like, oh, no, I didn't mean fat girls in general. I don't need to apologise to anyone for what I say. I just clarified that I was only talking to you. I'm phobic against you. Well, I just mean about her because I don't like her or I don't like wh whatever she said. I can't even, I've got it anyway. Notice how all these people who try to misgender me and say incorrect names of males and stuff always say she. She, 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 she said, she said, she, 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 she. 
the words coming out of your mouth don't really match up with what you're trying to say, really, is it? You know what I mean? I was probably recorded some of it, not all of it. But I'm like, I can't wait to do a little video on that. Do you know what I mean? Because look at her. Thank you so much, Bernie. You can't take EQ down, she will come for you more. Whoever said that I was trying to take EQ down, I'm just trying to straighten shit out. Like, I don't want to be friends with her. I don't think she's a nice woman, to be honest. She just sits there chatting around. A nice woman, but you're saying I'm Chesney and this, that and the other. So you need to make your mind up, love. You know, it's all she and woman and all that. Thank you, live, love, laugh. You are in my waffle, baby. Thank you. Blowing on about a load of shit, do you know what I mean? That she don't know about, truthfully. Yeah. That's how I see it. I'm not trying to take no one down, do you know what I mean? That's not the aim of the game for me. I've got bigger fish to fry, baby. Like, don't... <laughs> don't try and make out that I care about this woman. I just literally want to straighten something out. Like, no, you can't sit... If you're going to yeah. talk shit on me, make sure you're going to talk facts at the end of the day. But no one's talking facts. This is an opinion-based show, and opinions are never facts. So I don't know whether this is the clip where she goes on to say, if you're going to give your opinion, make sure you've got facts. Well, opinions are not facts, and that's the whole point of an opinion. No. But basically, yeah, Evil Queen Chelsea sat on her live doing a cover of when me and my other baby dub was on, and he was just chatting the most shit. She called me a fat pig, basically, and said that um, all about she don't like me and I think that I'm something that I'm not and a, basically a pig can still put makeup on but it's still a pig and I just thought, you look like Chesney of EastEnders. For well, there is no Chesney on EastEnders, for one, and the other Chesney on Kari has got ginger hair. Thank you, Bernie, my love for the moonlight flower. So you couldn't even land any shot? One, so that's why I'm going to call you Evil Queen Chesney. For two, you probably look like Gollum with no makeup on. Do you know what I mean? How can you sit there and talk down to anybody? For three, you're not a woman. You're never going to be a woman. You haven't got no woman. Well, my Lady Garden says different, to be honest. Like, can check out me OF. The link is in the bio of me Facebook or on me Twitter. And hormones. She just can't seem to land any of these shots. So how can you ever understand how it's how it is for a woman? Have you have ever had a man love on you and manipulate you? Yeah, I have. Make you feel a type of way and then do you dirty? Yeah, I have. Thank you very much. So that failed as well, didn't it? And you give chance after chance after chance until you get breaking point. And now you're the bad guy. Have you ever had that evil Queen Chesney? No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Do you know me, love? You know what I mean? Surely if you're going to give these opinions out of your own mouth, like you claim, that you should really get your facts, you know what I mean? So yes, I have. Thank you very much. Have you got somebody in your life that loves you that much that they want to give you a child? Do you know what I mean? Unless you've actually been through child... Well, you're saying these men loved you to give you a child, but none of them can be seen for dust. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Jennifer. You're both in the waffle. Tyrone really wanted to give you a child by the sound of things, like... He was really desperate, desperate to give you a child. Beth and had a child yourself. How can you sit there and judge and talk about anybody else you can't? I personally think you can't. Like, that's nothing about home. I can give my opinion on animal cruelty and I'm not an animal, you know what I mean? But I can still have my opinion on things. I can have my opinion on politics, on a war, maybe. Doesn't mean I have to be in the war. Thank you so much, Gemma. That's why it's called opinions. Should you bang, bang, bang. Honestly, this woman's, um, I, I'm not even going to call them comebacks, they're absolutely washed. Honestly, people don't even want to know what's happened. Do you know what? I'm just like, oh, how is she going to, how is she going to, they're looking like Lord, Lord Voldemort as well. I can't even get my words out right now. I'm just like, I'm not even mad. I'm just shocked. Like, how are you going to, how are you going to cover my life calling me? Yeah, but guess what? I've actually got a boyfriend, you know what I mean? And you haven't, so that that's what, like, kind of is quite funny in the situation, like, you know, you haven't even got a man. In the words of Gypsy Rose. A pig. <laughs> Looking like that. Looking like that. Yeah, but I'm confident in the way I look. Otherwise, I wouldn't put myself on camera as much as I do. So you're clearly uncomfortable in your skin to be this affected. Do you know how many people will go live through the day and talk about me? And I'm not striking lives up, you know. She is very obsessed. It's because I've got a card marked, you see. Has I got a card, man? Yeah, Gypsy Rose. Looking it. like that. When you don't know no facts, you don't know shit. Now that that's it now. That's it now. But neither do you. You don't even know who the father of your child is. 
and the only one you've t said that it is is denied it wholeheartedly and issued you with cease and desists. Oh. So I think I'll stick with my life over yours any day. That's it now. Evil Queen Chesney, that's my name for you. Evil Queen Chesney, not Evil oh. Queen Chelsea, Evil Queen Chesney, yeah. I wonder when she come out with that, did she think I've lived for 37 years, been trans since I was 18, well, had me surgery, started at 18, trans for much longer, obviously, throughout my life. But, like, it's just very strange, isn't it? Like, that she, she thinks that I w would never have heard that line before or, or Voldemort or this, that, and the other. You're a bit late to the party, love. It's all been said and done. Like, try and come at us with something original. And this is what I mean. She kept repeating herself over and over again. I was howling. I was doing the dish and that. And I kept writing, affected, affected, affected. Stop repeating yourself. You're boring. You're repeating yourself. Yeah. Like, a star asked she was broken at one stage because she appeared to be stuck. This woman on live calling me... This woman on live woman... Calling me what... You want to call me shit on live? Like, you know anything? I don't know if any of you see Evil Queen Chesney's live, what she was saying about me, the horrid woman. Oh, what? Because you sit looking like some head. You look like fucking... What's his name? I've Lord of the Rings as well. Go Gollum. Go Who even watches Lord of the Rings, you absolute nerd? I can honestly say I've never sat down and watched... An episode of Lord of the Rings in my life, so it says more about you, love. Weirdo. Gollum. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. So Evil much Queen Chesney, that. looking like Gollum. Do you know what you mean? Do you know what I mean? Isn't it a guy? Well, she sounds like she's just at about fucking forty ounces of fucking cheese. Do you know what I mean? Her voice is just like, <laughs> like go away. Honestly, I can't believe that she's just tried doing that. Coming from this, though, that gets nailed and bailed by every man she meets, you know what I mean? Hasn't actually got a boyfriend, you know? The one person she's fingered as the father of a, a son has denied all accountability. That's how, like, in desirable and everything you are, you know what I mean? So, yeah, unfortunately, you failed to hit the spot on that occasion. Maybe you can try again tonight and try and think of some original comebacks that we won't have heard 50 million times before, you know what I mean? I am uh, not this again. I can't cope. Why does he pull those feet when he's singing? Maddie, what Children! This is it. This is Alphabet. I know you're here somewhere. Children! Where are you? That's why I like it. <laughs> right, I need to quickly go for a wee, everybody, because I've drank loads of water today and everything, so I'll leave this on for you. <laughs> <laughs> And then, my sister, I was just speaking to my sister, and she went, oh, he rang me an hour ago because he said that you started swearing at his sister. I, f I did. I did. You're damn right. Tell your brother to sort his fucking shit out. Telling lies like that. And only because I freaking peed the narc, narc off. I'm happy. I've, I've, I'm happy I've annoyed the narc. It gives me joy. Gives me joy. Honestly, it does. Is I'm in a good mood. I'm good. I'm in a good mood that I caught his lie and everyone on TikTok heard his lie as well. <laughs> but it's just making me think of all the other lies he's span about me that are not true. You know what I mean? Uh, honestly, unbelievable. all over you should never be a pushover you should never be the bigger person do you know me you know you know me you know how i see it is when someone goes low wait for the right time to go lower that's my saying they'll eventually stop because they'll realize the more they poke you you're gonna bite back and they won't take it these people I hate that saying, be the bigger person. It's a saying that I absolutely despise because Hello. it just, to me, that's just like, oh, so someone can do something to you, but you're expected to ignore it. I still don't think I got every last drop of wee out because um, I, was, I must have dehydrated myself the other day. So 
um, last night before I went to bed, my last wee, it, ah, it started stinging. I was like, oh my God. So I drank loads of water today. So I've been like literally drinking water, 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 water to dilute my piss. And it's all right now. It's all right now. But like, I don't feel I've finished my wee properly, you know what I mean? Angie's mum tells her what happens last night when she was drunk. Mum? Don't forget, you just have uh, 40 more minutes left. And that is for um, your waffle. So, um, it's a rollover today, so... Oh, I just, you've seen the prizes already, haven't you, Sluff? Mom! I heard that. I heard that. Mom! My mum's just... I can see you, people trying to make suggestions and all that, but, like, I have had, like, bouts of my urinary tract feel stingy from when I was a child all the way through to my adult life now. Not relentlessly, but like periodically every now and again. So, like, I think after all those years of having, you know what I mean, the issue sometimes that I know how to manage it. So, I know you just love to give me suggestions, but I just flush myself out with copious amounts of water, cup after cup after cup, and then it, it just gets rid, flushes your kidneys out. So, I, I could have cranberry juice, the sachets, or anything, but I do find that um, just pure water works. Thank you, Bernie, for the moonlight flower, beautiful. Thank you so much, Bernie. We are friends on this account. Thank you, babes. Yeah, so I do just find that water flushes it out, you know what I mean? It's tall. Why did you call me at three in the morning? Ma'am? Why did you call me at three in the morning? Because the fucking door's being knocked down, that's why. And I have to get out of bed again. What do you mean the door's been knocked down? And I, I do value your your, th your things, but you've got to remember, I'm 37. Like, I've, I I know what I'm doing at this stage of life. I'm very independent as well, so when people give me advice, I kind of take a bit of offence, because I'm like, unless I asked for an opinion. Thank you, Nicola. You are in my waffle again, Nicola. Thank you so much. Don't do that. You need fucking the police, ambulance, fire brigade. The police yeah. fire brigade and ambulance was here. What the do you police, mean? Fire and ambulance were there. They kicked down the door. What for? And um, that girl as well, she said to him, oh, she sits there like a robot and just does this, this, because I've got two computer screens. So, like, my head is on a headrest here, so it's slightly forward. And the screen is here. And the second screen with the chat is there. So when I look this way, I'm watching the video. Thank you, Louise, you're in the waffle. And when I look this way, but I've got no reason to look over there or down there or up there, you know what I mean? Like, I've literally, what would I need to look anywhere else other than me two monitors, you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. Crazy. I'm a lunatic. No, we've seen this one. Can I do an animal one? Oh, it is. The animal colouring book. Can I do an animal one? Yes, but it's boring to do an animal one. Go on Amazon. There's plenty of animal colouring books. I'm not going to do one. Do I look like the kind of person to sit down drawing fucking animals? Or do I look like I'm the kind of person to Thank you, Bernie. sit down creating fucking... People only say about Lisa Zaccone's colouring book because they don't like Chelsea Liar, but Chelsea's colouring book is so much better. Just look at the pages there. Yeah, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Like, Lisa's is little, little mice on a boat and things that you could just buy in any colouring book. But look at Chelsea's. Creating characters, darling. So she coloured that in from a colouring book. So this is her colouring book. But Lisa Zaccone is little animals, little mice and that, you know. So Chelsea's is well better. And, you know... You know, this is like from outer space, sweetheart. Next generation. So, people only say about Lisa's because of obviously the hate towards Chelsea and stuff, but that's well better to call it. You can't just buy that on the market. Chelsea's an original, you know what I mean? Next time is alienified. I'm not the kind of artist to sit down painting fucking dogs and cats, darling. Exactly. We're on a different level. This is very Picasso. Chuka, you've just said not paying fifty dollars for that. Well, don't. Is there a gun to your head? Like, is someone forcing you to? Like, we don't need to hear your negativity about what you want to spend your money on. That's totally fine. No one's gonna kill you or any of those things. Like, you can not buy it if you don't want to. This doesn't really matter, does it? But I've just got it naturally. 
I love it. Exactly, nobody asked you to buy it, but like I wouldn't buy it. That will dump then. But you make this into. I love my Chelsea Lear colour and book. Oh, it's upside down. I love my Chelsea Lear colour and book. I can't wait to get Chelsea Lear pens to colour it in as well. What you want to make it? Because every single image that you do is going to be different to what I do. If you need sense going the waffle. It's a coral, babes. I'll pin it for you. And it's a double whammy Thank tonight. You. There's two winners tonight on the waffle. Last night's prizes and tonight's prizes. And the woman here. So how you make her outfit is going to be different to how I Thank do you, it Nicola, or how again, anyone Nicola. else Thank does you it. So You'll be f oh. Last night's mess. Thank you, Nikki. You don't mean that, do you? Yeah, I think that's what happened. That's from the stick I put my fingers in. Are you, have you not washed your hands? No. <laughs> you pee, no, the puke's still... No, it's still there. No, it's not, Ange. <laughs> you yeah, it is, yeah. Show me, show me. You want to show you the sick? Yeah, show me, just prove it, it's still there. Thank you, to you the waffle. It's not still there. Yeah, it is, Dave. <laughs> She's lying, guys. She's lying. I'm not. She's lying, guys. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no way, Ange! Ange, please stop! Ange, please sort yourself out! Ange, please! Ange, please! You're in the water. Yes, it's still on the floor. Will you get and you know the funniest thing about it, everybody, is all those people that sit there every day. Thank you, Amy, you're in the waffle. You're right, Angie. Yeah, that's the right opinion. You're right, you're right. The woman is literally being sick everywhere and left it all overnight. And you are like, yeah, she's right. Thank you, Evil Roots. That's hilarious. She's so sad, whoever does that. And then you mugs are gifting these dickheads just because they're battling someone. Yeah, man, make it make sense, bitch. Thank you, Gina. I can't stand that catchphrase anymore because that Alex fucking Brigham's Mike it Mike Sands is a stupid, horrible, ugly accent. Thank you, Dare Straits. Mike it Mike Sands. Ugh. You too, Fox. My phone's gonna. My phone's gonna the police. Dan, I got a boyfriend now. Well, is he <laughs> Do you want me to ask if he's got a brother? Shall I find out if he's got a brother? I can't hear you. Do you want me to find out if he's got a brother? Do I want you to what? See if he's got a brother. What for? For <laughs> you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm right off of fucking men. I don't need them. Why? I like being on my own. My home is mine. Yeah. And I'm not sharing it with no bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he might be nice. He might be nice. He could be nice. I don't give a fuck. Thank you, Lindsay, don't for like subscribing them. for two months. Thank I don't you, like men. No. Not even one that's going to spoil you. I can't hear you. Stick out. What about one that spoils you? Well, I've never had one that spoils me because I don't have men. <laughs> I don't like them. I've got enough men in the family. With my brothers and my cousins. I don't need fucking men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could take you dancing. They could take you out dancing. Hey? They can hey. take <laughs> you out dancing. They take me out cycling. <laughs> oh shit, I've run off it. So apparently, um, a hearing's getting worse and she's not apparently something to do with the hearing aid or something. That's why she's saying what so much more than usual. Verifying what? What are you talking about?
Dan, I got me brothers. Thank you, Kate. Cousin. I don't need fucking men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could take you dancing. They could take you out dancing. Hey. They can take you out dancing. They take me out cycling. <laughs> cycling. Dancing. For a dance. No, I don't go dancing. I'll, I'll give that up a long time ago. Just give it up. When I start getting veins in my legs. Yeah. Uh. Dancing had to go. Mm -hmm. The doctor said, stop your dancing and your veins will go back. And I said, right. And he was right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Barco's veins. Luckily. Luckily. I can't hear you. You were lucky. Well, no, I Thank don't you, know. I've I just got a good doctor. <laughs> Kate's an eight-month subscriber. I got a boy. CLA used their pens as lipstick. Thank you, Dire Straits loves you in the waffle. Because they don't contain alcohol. These are my pens, Chelsea Liot pens. Do you need to release them? I listened you could wear these as makeup. Look how shiny they are. Here, though. Would you get the fence on? She hasn't released them yet. So these are really child friendly. Absolutely, <laughs> darling. Liar. You're going red. No, that's because I'm squashing my face. She is going red, isn't she? But have we to see how easy it is to get on? You're going red. She is. <laughs> it's the lighting, guys. Because you, you're going red. I'm oh, going red. Oh no, <laughs> like. Uh, it's going purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The allergic reaction. I can't cope. <sighs> Have I gone purple, guys? <laughs> it's it's, it's going to explode. <laughs> Honestly, look, my pen's over here, guys. Yeah, we want you to release. We're gonna have to get up. I hope my effing bed. Everyone go and say to Simba, where is my bed, darling? I was thinking of that Violet from Charlie and Chocolate. The lips are horrendous. Whoever it is, the one who goes like a purple thing. Stunning. It's more of the movie. Sorry. I'm, I'm seeing it tomorrow. I'm really nervous. Um, guys, do you want a reaction before and after of the Wicked movie? Because apparently I heard people crying after it, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to end up crying. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Your granny is so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, Brooke. You're in the waffle, babe. You've only got sorry, 25 it's... minutes left to enter the waffle. It is just a coral to enter, and it's a rollover, so there's two lots of prizes and two winners tonight at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow. I can't actually tell how excited I am. Like, I literally, like, it... And they'll be sent out tomorrow, and you'll get them Monday, because obviously it's Sunday then, but Danny's coming tomorrow with me parcels. Thank you, Nicola, to do me TikTok advertising for the shop. So he'll um, collect them tomorrow. Oh, and in the, in one of the piles is, do you remember the jammies I had on the other day? These are the actual pajamas, but I have washed them and everything for you, so they're all smelling gorgeous. So whoever wins this pile will be able to smell what my washing smells like, and not many people on this planet would be able to do that. So it's well worth entering tonight's waffle, because I've had these on my body, you know what I mean?
obviously nice and washed now, like, but, you know, you'll be able to smell everything. Thank you, Miss L. Thank you, beautiful. You're in the waffle. Thank like, you. It makes me feel, like, lightheaded. I can't actually tell you, like, the wicked baby's tomorrow. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you, like, magics. Thank you. I'm so waffle. excited. And can you pin yourself, Nick? Can everybody follow Nick Jacobs? Because if you win the waffle, you have to get in touch with Nick, you say, so just in case. I have waited two Thank years. You, Miss L, no, lovely. more than that. <laughs> Five years. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. And when we do the waffle, the first um, prize that we draw out is going to be last night's stuff. And then, uh, yes, Amesy, last night's stuff. And then tonight's stuff is going to be... Um, it's going to be the second winner. And people, there's, there's a, there has been a rumour going around being like, Alphabet, are you going to sing during the movie? No, I'm not. I have Thank theatre. You a You're in the waffle. What's it called? Theatre. Thank you, Michelle Taylor. You're in the waffle. Ethetique. Etiquette. What's it called? Uh, no, what I'll do is I'll just lip sync. Like, I'll mouth it. I'll be like, Yes, that. Yes, I have that. I have respect. I just don't want anyone fucking singing it themselves. You, I really don't want it. I really will actually tell you shut up. I'm not even kidding you. Well, can't you shut up? Because you sing it every day. I don't know yourself. Put, put a green heart in the chat if you agree with me. I don't want anyone singing it. I really want to hear them, not you. I don't want to hear it. I, I love you. As much as I love Wicked, I'm a biggest fan. I won't be singing it. I have respect. Um, so no one better be singing in the theatre, I swear to God. The funniest thing is he talks about with this with such passion, like we've all got the same passion, you know, like, and it's like, you're a weirdo, honestly. You wouldn't do it in the theatre, would you? You get kicked out instantly. I think the ushers have been trained into, like, be like, you cannot sing this. Because they're doing sing-along ones in Christmas anyway, so do that there, uh, not, not tomorrow. I swear, if anyone sings tomorrow, I'm going to be like, shut up! Um, because that's what I'm like. <laughs> Elfaba says that using silk to take its makeup off is better than using tissue. This tramp has got nothing that's silk. Ooh. Has anyone ever used silk to take off their makeup? You wouldn't it's know what silk was thing, if it come and but... popped you in that nose of yours. Oh, Thank you, helped. Nini. You're in the waffle. Yeah. Thank you, Joey. Silk my it foot. It does help my skin sometimes. Because it just gets rid of it. It's not harsh. There's like silk cloths and stuff you can use, but um, it's a natural thing, um, I think. But you can buy like silk silk cloths to get rid of makeup off your things. It's so good for your skin. Thank you, Jackie. You're in the waffle, baby. Very first gift um, as well, Jackie. Good luck. Attacking your skin. It's not hard. As if anyone would take skincare advice off this gremlin. The tissue. So. This is not even hurting my skin, to be honest. It's coming straight off. Can you see that? Straight off. Gremlin. Thank you, Claire. You're in the waffle, babes. Thank you. Am I gonna go out? Are you gonna go and wash your fanny? What about that? Okay. Your colouring book looks amazing. Thank you, darling. <laughs> like... Where the fuck is the bed and why are you... You know, they lied to me. They, they, they said, oh, we tried to deliver yesterday. I was live the whole day. No one tried to deliver fuck all because I'm on Buckingham Palace Road. They always fucking get my address wrong, these people. Like, just, just park outside my block. That's what everyone else does. But, you know, they're all like, oh, where do we park? Da, 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 da. You know, oh, fuck off, darling. Do you know what I mean? These guys are coming from Essex or Kent or I don't know. It's not my business, darling. Fucking hell, you're the one delivering, sweetheart. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, babe. So you're in the waffle. Um, yeah, me and Jack have got one of those fire sticks. Thank you, T. Thank you. You're in the waffle twice, babe. Thank you. Or it, more if you've given any more throughout the night. <coughs> um, I started watching that Des again. You know, like the ITV one thing with the uh, Desmond, Des Nielsen or whatever his name is who murdered all those men. I don't need to be going through all this, darling. Just ring the fucking buzzer or F off, darling. If you can't find the... But now, thank you so much, Mrs. Halloway. Hello, hello. Do you know now, though, there's too much to watch and I don't know what to bloody watch. Fucking address. That's your problem, not mine. <sighs> I would invest.
invest in this because it's a hardback, so you don't need to, you know. Right, let me skip some of these Chelsea clips now. Angie throws up all over herself on live. Angie can't breathe, it's just because you're vomiting, that's why, so... Thank you, Beverly. Have you got a bottle of water next to you, Angie? Um. You need some water to make it come up better. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can actually breathe properly. Thank you, Claire, for the treasure box. There's a thousand coin treasure box up, everybody. Make sure to say thank you to Claire. And make sure to send your daily heart me if you haven't already. You can, you can. Feel the acid off, the, oh. off your sick hands. That's making you think that you can't breathe. You Terrible. I hate that type of sick when you're sick, but it, like, comes out your nose and you're like, uh, 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 uh. you can't breathe. I've had that before. Oh, I really can't breathe. Because it, it like kind of covers your 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 nose breathing ability, and you're like, uh, uh, you can't breathe. It's horrible. Um, hey, being sick, Evan. I was sick the other morning. You know, after like we got on the aperols, because Jack was making them by the glass, and we used to put them in a big massive jug, so we know the right measurements for that. But we were having them out the glass, and I was just knocking them back, thinking they were like normal, but they weren't. They were stronger. So I woke up in the morning time, and I slept all night. Lovely, I didn't get sick. And then at like seven in the morning, I was sick for a couple of hours. And then we had to, because we were in Manchester, we had to get in the car and rush home because my medication was getting delivered. Because they uh, delivered it by DPD and you've got to give them a code and all that to get your medication off them, so. <laughs> um, oh, look, here is his reaction to Wicked. Oh, that was less <laughs> I don't get how you can cry over something like a musical. That was less <laughs> Very strange. This is funny. Okay. I'm from I'm from I'm from Dubai. No, you're not, lad. What are you lying for? It's obviously you're not in Dubai. I'm from Dubai. Be honest. Thank you, Dumba. Are you in Dubai no. now? Are you in Dubai? No, no, I'm I'm not Dubai now. I'm I'm in Nigeria now. Yeah, I thought so, lad. Let's let's not insult each <laughs> other's intelligence, eh? I'll be okay. I'm from. That's funny. Orion onions in his Phantom of the Predator era. Thank you, G. You're in the waffle. Oh, Georgie. Thank you so much, George. Orion oh, onions in his phantom. Oh my god, onions. I've just been crying my eyes. Gracie, it's over. Is that right? I've had an epiphany. I've had a a moment where I've nearly slipped back into the TikTok trap. It's been ages since, you know, I've done competitions and shit like that. Get your and life fest is Thank upon you again, us. My and love. I thought, oh my God, it was so good last time. Let's do life fest. Let's do life fest. I'm not doing life fest. It's bollocks. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I've let myself get like in that thing again. Like, I don't know why I've let myself get back into that, you know, competitive kind of nature and, you know, wanting to go to the shiny events and all that sort of shit. It would not be right for me to push Life Fest. I know we've done it for a day. Um, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. Wait till you see this wheel, it's mad, I can't wait to see it now. And furthermore, my gifts are going to go off until at least after Christmas. I won't be doing any more lives with my gifts on, I'll be doing my shop lives as normal. But, I had a message, because I had my gifts off today on my live, I had a message off of someone who I hold in very high regard, and they were saying how proud they were of me for having my gifts off and all of that. And I don't have to have my gifts on, I don't need gifts, I'm not...
I was glad that she came out of the live fest because I was a little bit disappointed, not vocally to put it out there or to like say anything. It's not my business at the end of the day, but personal feeling like on that level. Because Gracie, like, gotta remember last time she did it, you know, she was like only just like starting to get get herself sorted again and all that. She'd been through a lot, hadn't she, and all that. And it was like people supported her, and then she's done loads of good good things since then. She doesn't have to compete in this, that, and other. So, uh, I like that she's come out of it, because it would have been a whole month, you know what I mean, and it would have made Gracie look some type of way, and she's not that type of way, you know what I mean, like, she'd rather do something for someone else than herself anyway, you know what I mean, and she's been there, done that, she's got her life now, she's got a wedding coming up, you know what I mean, she's got real life things to think about, and she makes a lot of money doing her other things, you know, her TikTok shops, this, that, and the other, so, yeah, she's above all that now, you know what I mean. I'm in a very financially stable position, and for me, like... I've just come to this thing I've just thought, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why am I doing this fucking life this what? So I can prove absolutely nothing to no one. In my head, it's like I'm making a point, but the point is, I, I've got everything that I need. Like, I've got a house, I've got beautiful children, I've got a partner, I've got the best community you, in Esther. the whole yeah, world. The waffle, babe. And having that, the best community in the world is not based on how much they can give me for nothing in return. It's coming up to Christmas. If you want to support me, go and buy something for yourself out of my shop or buy something for your kids out of my shop. Buy a Christmas present out of the shop. Get something for your money. Like, I feel bad. I feel really bad. Like, I, feel, I just became, like, overwhelmed with fucking, like, guilt. And a man telling me today how proud he is of me has just totally blown me away like it's really made me emotional because I, I think a lot of this man and i really respect what he says and i know like a lot of you would know who he is on this app um i won't say his name um but he's a very well respected and a very nice man and he told Lauren. me how proud he was of me for having my gifts off of my life today and stuff like that and i've Lauren. just decided i don't fucking need gifts you lot don't need to send gifts and I'm just gonna do my shop lives and do you know what? If I wanna go to a fucking event, yeah, where everyone gets dressed up, I'll put on a sparkly dress and do a shop life for you lot. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, my community are all I need and money cannot buy the time that you spend with me. It can't, you, money comes and goes. Time you don't get back and I'm very grateful for you all spending time with me. So I know it's gonna annoy you all cause you can't do your heart me's and stuff like that. But I've decided that my gifts will go off until after Christmas and that you guys should spend your money on yourselves and your families. And I honestly think that everyone else on the app um, who gifts should consider spending their money on the run up to Christmas to their friends and their families and themselves. So yeah, that's my little um, epiphany. Oh, bless her. I agree. I agree, my loves. Tara makes up food bags for the homeless. Okay, oh, so literally it's just one of these. And then obviously I'm going through the uh, lion bars and then I'll go to the honey bars. So they've got one of these each. Then they've got a chicken soup, minstrel soup, soup and a le leek and potato soup. The homeless, how are they well on the water for these cup of soup? It's just like a cup of soup. It's just something to keep them nice and warm. Like, you guys have to remember, yeah, like, I used to be homeless myself. Like, homeless people can be quite resourceful with things like that. Do you know what I mean? But again, guys, if anyone would like to donate to the cause, please do. Please don't be deterred by the trolls and the haters. Like, you can see that I'm going out. You can see that I'm handing the stuff out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not gaining anything from doing this. Like, people think that I am, but I'm not. I'm really not gaining fuck all other than keeping myself occupied and helping others. Helping yourself more like Wayneta. Helping you. Oh, look! A waffle winner got the prizes. Look, it was mad seeing things that have been in my house in someone else's house. Absolutely crazy. When I seen this, I was like, bloody hell, I packed that box. And there it is in real life, our little Lizzie love. So there's the box in real life. It's the little things in
Oh, yes, love. It's mad seeing him in other people's houses. Oh, yes, love. We'll have all the waffles. Right, you've got ten minutes to get your waffle entries in, loves. Ten minutes. 